So we are very honored um, to give our inaugural Citizen of the Year Award to Dr. David Fagenbaum. Thank you all so, so much for that incredible reception and, and thank you so much for this incredible honor. Thir 13 years ago, I said goodbye to my family and my friends just down the street at the University of Pennsylvania. I nearly died four more times. As I laid in the hospital bed, I dreamed of finding a drug that could maybe one day save my life so I could marry Caitlin and unlock more cures for more patients waiting for drugs in memory of my mom, but I never could have dreamed of what we've been able to achieve. Repurposing a drug that has saved my life and 16 more treatments that have saved thousands more, and none of this would have been possible in any city other than the city of Philadelphia. So tonight I want to thank Philadelphia for three things. First and foremost, I want to thank Philadelphia for my incredible wife, Caitlin. Born and raised here by her amazing parents, Bernie and Patty, and her incredible brother, Michael, she took on the grittiness, focus on family, and underdog traits that this city fosters. You've been beside me through so many ups and downs and believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. And now we have the two sweetest kids in the whole world who have the two most incredible grandparents in the whole world. Bernie may be a great general manager at 6ABC, but I think he's an even better father and grandfather to our kids. And Patty. I am so lucky to have you as my mother-in-law, to have you as Caitlin's incredible mother, our grandmother to our children, uh, CDCN volunteer. You have just been so special to all of us. I was also so lucky to have two amazing parents of my own, including my dad, who taught me so much about the importance of hard work, and my mom, who passed away from cancer 20 years ago, but to, to this day continues to inspire me to live like her. She taught me that we shouldn't just look to find silver linings in the midst of difficult times, we should look to create silver linings. No matter how low things have been over the years, me and my sisters are always looking for ways to create something positive in the midst of the storm. There are also so many friends who are like family to me that I wanna thank, like Ben, Ryan, and Pete who are here with me tonight and have literally never missed a phone call, an opportunity to visit me in the hospital, or anything else that I've ever asked for them. And Grant Mitchell, who isn't here tonight because he's at an event raising funds for Every Cure, the nonprofit that we started, which is exactly where he should be. <laughs> and second, I wanna thank Philly for all the incredible teammates and colleagues that, we, that have fought beside me. My book is called Chasing My Cure, but we should have called it Chasing Our Cures because it's been such an incredible team effort right here in Philadelphia working together to contribute to this fight to chase cures for Castleman's and so many other diseases. Scientists and colleagues like Sheila, Mary, Tracy, Mike, Melanie, Sally, and Amber, and advisors like Marjorie and Catherine Ryan, Tony, and AJ, who have rolled up their sleeves to fight back over these last 10 years. And third, I want to thank Philly for the ecosystem of innovation and the incredible university that I've had the honor of being a part of for the last 16 years. For me, it all starts with my incredible mentor, Arthur Rubenstein, who is Dean of Penn Medicine for 10 years, and I've been so honored to consider consider him my mentor for the last 12. I've learned so much from him during our weekly meetings for the last 12 years. During one of our first meetings, he said the secret to success was to set a clear vision, 
to build a great team and work harder than anyone else and have fun too. And that is the best advice I ever received. I've had the incredible fortune of trying to put some of those principles into action as I've worked with collaborative partners like Ricordati Rare Disease, Alicia Vitarelli at 6ABC, and collaborators at Penn like Taku, Ivan, Dan, and Josh who are all here tonight. And I'm so thankful for all the funders who have supported our work. For every dollar that we've raised from individuals, we've been able to raise an additional $7 from external sources. In closing, I never could have imagined all that has happened in the last 10 years, and it would not have been possible anywhere else in the world but Philadelphia. With the team that we have and the city that we live in, here's to the next 10 years where we go from saving thousands of lives around the world to saving millions. I hope you all will join us. Thank you so, so much.